Good evening. Welcome to St. Margaret's Parish. God's promise of mercy allows us to live in a world with a sense of hope and peace. As we rejoice on this third Sunday of Advent, let us take some time out of this busy season to focus on preparing the way for the Lord in our lives. Our gathering hymn is A Season of Light, number 500, and we celebrate them. Please stand as we begin our celebration. Enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so 
so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord, and a day of vindication by our God. I rejoice heartily in the Lord, and my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation, and wrapped me in a mantle of justice, like a bridegroom adorned with diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants, and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all nations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm can be found in the Missalette on page 32.
reading from the first letter of St. Paul, Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in all circumstances give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit, do not despise prophetic utterances, test everything, retain what is good, refrain from every kind of evil. May the God of peace make you perfectly holy, and may your ent entirety, spirit, soul, and body be preserved, blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will also accomplish it. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks.
as the second reading says, Rejoice in the Lord always, pray without ceasing. And then we have a glimpse of the prologue in John's Gospel. We don't hear on the third Sunday of Advent Mark's Gospel. We're listening now to John's Gospel, which is a difference in the beginning, which we hear in the prologue of John's Gospel on Christmas Day. And the one who came to give testimony to the light, but he was not the light, John. John the Baptist, which we heard last Sunday, and we hear again this Sunday. They asked the question, when the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, who are you? He admitted and did not deny it. I am not he. I am not the Christ. So then they began to ask him, Who are you? What are you? And then he said to him, I am the voice crying out in the desert, Make straight the way of the Lord. And so it gives us pause for rejoicing. We have to have joy in our hearts as we look upon the baby Jesus on this third Sunday of Advent, as we bless the baby Jesus of the manger of Christmas, which in Rome, St. John Paul II started this, the blessing of the baby Jesus, the Bambino. It's called Bambinelli Sunday. And so in Rome, the little children bring their little baby Jesus, and some of you brought yours, and if you didn't, consider them blessed. You have your baby Jesus in your hearts. And like Mary's beautiful Magnificat in the responsorial psalm, which we just say, my soul glorifies the Lord. We all have Jesus in our hearts. And so the manger that you have in your homes or the mangers that you put outside around that we light up and we're preparing, of course, Christmas is next week. We gaze upon the baby Jesus and we reflect upon that great gift of love that has been given to us and to the world when God gave us Jesus. So when you look at your baby Jesus in your crush, in your mangers of Christmas, consider them blessed as I bless the baby Jesus, and as we rejoice in the Lord, pray without ceasing, for Christmas now is near. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say, rejoice. Let us have joy in our hearts. And so next Sunday, just for clarification, because many people have been asking, next Saturday night and Sunday morning is the fourth Sunday of Advent. It's not Christmas. Christmas Eve does not start until Sunday evening. So guess what? You gotta go to church twice. There's your answer to the question. Somebody said, oh, if I go Sunday morning, I'm done. No, you're not. Christmas does not come until Sunday evening, 
and then Monday is Christmas Day. So I'll be seeing a lot of you next weekend. I always feel bad for the fourth Sunday candle because it really gets the short end of the stick. It only gets lit for a couple of hours. And so I always feel bad for the fourth Sunday of Advent. But anyway, it just gives all of us at this time of the year, thank you for the compliments. Many of you said, oh, you look good in pink. <laughs> it is your color, you know. And so it really is a time of great joy that we should have in our hearts and joy in preparing for when we are to celebrate as Christmas draws near. At this time, I bless the baby Jesus of the manger of Christmas and consider all your baby Jesus blessed that are in your hearts right now because that's where we want him anyway. Lord God, we ask your blessing upon the baby Jesus as we place him at Christmas in our mangers. We ask the blessing to come upon all of these bambinos, the baby Jesus, as we bless him and place him in the mangers, and above all, as we place him in the manger of our hearts. Through Christ our Lord. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of the earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, in God now made a consubstantial with the Father, through him all things. Paul called upon Thessalonians to do, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in Christ, for Helen Bullock, for whom this Mass is being offered, and for others we would like to remember. Let us pray to the Lord. Generous God, you fill the hungry with good things. You send the rich away empty. You lift up the lowly. May we realize the wisdom of your goodness as we address our needs to you through the one who is coming closely approaches. Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, Lord forever and ever. Gifts are brought forth. Please join in singing number 777. We celebrate him. Come, our Almighty King, for 777. Mystery 
of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exalted in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end.
Helen Bolick. All some of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.